What is up everybody, Blue Dog 35 here. No, I'm not using a selfie stick, it's actually my tripod. Uh, making a semi-rare on-camera appearance. I am walking to the garage, where my vehicular is located. Behind me, as you can probably see. Many, many stickers. And uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of work, as you get to see my man boobs there. My tetes. Um, I haven't been covering this uh, project nearly as much as I should um, <sighs> because of reasons, <laughs> um, but I have uh, some stuff I got to do here, right? A uh, pretty much in front of me. It's that's one of the cylinder heads, um, and then the garage is an absolute mess. But uh, we're gonna do a little work here. Sorry, I'm not framing it right. It's awkward with the big tripod I got. Uh, but anyways, I got a new tripod. We're going to do some work, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first things first. If you've ever had a Subaru deck, or sorry, a Subaru head uh, decked, which is having the mating surface machined with the, or the mating surface with the, uh, the block machined, um, you will have uh, had to take everything off, strip it, and... Uh, you may have encountered the issue with the aluminum or aluminium uh, bolts stripping out uh, the bolt holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chase the threads. I have a oh, sorry, not in focus here. I have a uh, it's a this is a an M10 by 125, 1.25. <clears throat> um, that is a tap that I got on eBay for like 14 bucks. Um, I got the whole set. Uh, it's behind here, you can't really see it. But anyways, what you're gonna do, I have a little cap with some motor oil in it. You're gonna take, let's get this guy right, you're gonna take it, pour some of the motor oil, just a little bit, on the tap, make sure it's all, you know, nice and lubed up, because you don't want to go in dry. And uh, you gotta get this guy nice and squared up, with the threads and I've already done this one just for argument's sake um, I've actually already done all of these but I'm gonna redo them um, for the camera what you want to do is you want to turn it until it gets kinda hard to do and then you back off a little and then you keep turning again and then you back off a little and then you turn again and you back off a little and you keep repeating that until uh, it can't go no more. You never force it. Um, but that there it is. It's bottomed out right there. Uh, let me zoom out here a little. <clears throat> so there's that. That one's done. And then when you are finished, um, make sure you don't you know do anything. Uh, when you're finished, there'll be little. Let me get it to focus here. There'll be. Uh, little shavings that you know came off um, and you just want to grab a, uh, a towel or something like that and kinda blot it off just dab it dab it dab it dab it get your little thing of motor oil again and uh, you know, all you're doing is getting it a little wet to uh, lube it up some get this guy you want to make sure it's nice and square cuz then you'll end it up or then ugh, my English lessons are not paying off then you will if you don't square it up you'll end up cutting new threads and you don't really want to do that so there's that look I can threads are so clean I can you know do that I don't recommend doing what I just did but this is more along the lines to just clean out the threads I already recut <clears throat> So, once again, this one is actually very clean. There aren't any chips. Um, this is what it looks like uh, when you wipe it off when it's full of metal. So, yeah, there's that one. This is the one that was questionable with me. Uh, this is the one that caused me the most problems when I did the transmission on my car because I had to take the entire exhaust system off and I did the transmission and when I undid this the whole bolt came out and 
it's more of a, a stud that goes through the exhaust manifold and the uh, the nut like was frozen onto the stud and it took the stud with it and stripped this out <clears throat> so this is just recutting the threads and there's a little bit of resistance right there so we'll back it off some and I bottomed it out there so we'll back it off some there should be a little bit on this one and uh yeah sure enough there's a little bit you can see just a little there um, it usually collects in the groove here and then there's a little more there so that's nice and clean now um, another thing that you want to do um, I actually had these uh, hot tanked I had them uh, milled and tanked so what you can do is just take a scraper to it to get any gasket material that's left over residual um, probably want to do this before you retap the threads if you do but uh, I'm not all that concerned because brand new studs from Subaru <laughs> Jesus <laughs> brand new studs from Subaru are going in there so I'm not really worried about crap getting in there um, but yeah you always want a nice clean mating surface <clears throat> um, if you're wondering what I'm using for a table to hold this <laughs> uh, I am actually using my uh, Stanley toolbox I have a large well not really large but it's a uh, actually I'll show you I have pardon the noise um, I got that thing uh, Black Friday um, at Walmart it's pretty cool I like it <clears throat> And we will place this back and lock it back and just have to adjust there just a little bit. Um, I'm not going to worry about the uh, valve lash or whatever they call it. Um, it's going to be noisy anyway because, you know, it's a Subaru engine. Um, but what I will do, because they had to take the cams off when they, uh, when they re resurfaced it, um, at least that's what they told me is they took the the they took the cam out and the rockers um because they had to take the valves out to re uh do the valve job and they reground the valves and everything so um <clears throat> pretty much uh this head is done um I'm going to get the other one and do the same thing with this um because I have brand new studs for it too even though the studs are already um, uh, the studs are still in it. Um, I'm just going to replace them. Alright, so this right here is the other head. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get these studs off with a pair of channel locks. Um, because I do not currently have uh, a pair of vice grips that's actually decent. And it looks like this second setting is what I'm stuck with, and unfortunately, that's not good enough. So, uh, let's do this. Oh, this one is just kind of finger tight. So this one will come out, and uh, maybe I can pull one of these. Yeah, there we go. So this is a an exhaust stud it goes in the head <sighs> we will check these guys see if I can get any of these ones off I'll have to go at it with my strong arm there's that so that one came out pretty well and there's how that one looks it's not too chewed up this side is actually a lot better than uh, the other ones um, but the other, uh, the other head was a lot more, uh, you know, messed up. This one is going to be a pain, I can tell. Ugh. I'm going to have to go at this one with vice grips. 
So uh, I'm going to pause here just for a moment to see if I can't find any. Um, I think I have some in the back of my car when I was doing um, the, uh, the brakes on Doug's Jeep. I just kind of stashed all my crap back there. So um, before I had my toolbox. So I'm going to check back there and uh, I'll be back. So it appears that my, uh, my vice grips have vanished from the material sphere. They have shuffled off this mortal coil. So uh, I'm just going to try one more time. Uh, probably not going to get anywhere on account of my... I have decent hand strength, but at the same time, you know, I am a lumbering fat guy. So... That's not going to happen without vice grips. So, anyways, you get the gist. Um, I am going to remove this, tap it, or uh, just chase the threads, really. And, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of crud on it. So, there's a lot of shavings, a lot of whatever. So, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and retap all of them. Um, and uh, once I get this off, uh, I guess you'll see the result, so um, Time to move on to something else and because I can't do this right now because uh, I need a pair of ice grips And I don't know where the hell they went, so Yeah, I'm just repeating myself <laughs> uh, But anyways, um, I guess this was an addendum to the previous uh, bit where I actually signed off, but uh, you know just listen to what uh, you know old me said and uh, rate, subscribe, like, comment, death threat, all that stuff. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Once again, I appreciate it again.